Yes, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel where today I'm going to be reviewing the Globalis Mayoris, I think that's how you say it, in Palma de Mallorca. In total, there's seven of us. We've got three kids, all under the age of five, and four adults, mum, dad, and grand and granddad. Um, so yeah, come with us and let's see how it is. Without further ado, let's get to it. Come on, let's go. So this is the main reception bit. Down there, it's closed now. But down there is where the night entertainment is. Look, there's a bit of a stage there. A bit of a bar over that side. Then the other side is the swimming pool. And then our hotel room is literally, look, that's the desk for reception there. Our hotel room's just at the top of those stairs. And now if you come down through reception, you get into the main pool area. It's about nine in the morning now. And look at this, the floor's a bit damp. That's our room, just above this shelter here. But look, look how nice it is. Come here, girls. And then over here, you have got a little kids' play area and also like pool tables, table tennis, and stuff like that, which is obviously good for the older kids. And just the other side, just the other side of that glass there, that's where I was showing you a minute ago, the, um, the uh, what's it called? The night entertainment and stuff is all in here. There's a window open there. That's where I was a minute ago. And then over here, right next to the swimming pool, is the park, is the, uh, is the mini park, yeah. There's the mini park. There's the entrance to the hotel. And then there's the main pool. And there's the table tennis there. So yeah, around the main pool, it's probably the area you want to be if you've got older kids. It's got the best park ever. What? Do you like this park? Come on, let's get to breakfast. Another thing worth noting as well, is on the left side of the pool, if you're looking from the main entrance, which is there, on the left side of the pool is a load of shade. Big massive shaded area. Around all the beds there's plenty of parasols, which is obviously handy when you have kids, especially young ones. But yeah, here's another view of the, of the main pool. And down at the other end of the pool, there's another little pool, which is the nice one. What's your favourite pool word? Uh, the big one. Better than this one? Yeah. What's your favourite one? This one. Who learned to swim in this? I went swimming in it. Who and learned it to... was the best holiday ever. <laughs> we went swimming in this pool yesterday. On the last day of the holiday, she finally decided she wanted to learn to swim. But to be fair to her, she did it. All right, come on in, girls. Now, from the pool into the restaurant. Let's go. Liver, what's your favourite part of the dinner? Uh, ice cream. <laughs> what's your favourite part of dinner? Jelly. Jelly? Meadow, what's yours? Sprinkles. Sprinkles? Why are your ice cream in tea? Or yeah. like that. Or, yo, what? Uh, yeah. Ice cream and jelly. Same, and the fruit. And in this hotel, if you've got kids, there's only one place to start this video, and that is at the kids' pool with the big massive slides. Our kids have absolutely loved it here. Look at that. <laughs> you like that? You like that one? Alright, here we go. We're on this one for the hundredth time. Go! Now we're gonna go on the big ski slope slide. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Are we going in the middle one? 
Yeah. Yeah, we're going on the ski slopes. Hurry! Too fast. We'll go at the same time, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So this is the back of the slider. You've got the little one there with a the little pull. Oh, look, someone's coming. And you've got the really big one at the top. Another one there. We'll do them all then. Look on this one. We're going to do this one again. Okay. All right. We're going to do this one again, look. Do you two want to go first? Yeah. Meadow, you come in. Oh, Daddy, you're Ruby, look. Look, where? Right, we're gonna go. Ready? One, two, three. Go, Ruby! Woohoo! <laughs> like it? Yeah. Here we go. River's gonna go on the big one that goes really fast. The middle one there. There's also that one there. Isn't as fast. And the ski slopes, which I've just been on. But this is actually really, really good for the kids. We just sat over there, put our feet up, I'll show you in a minute, and then, uh, yeah, let them crack on sitting here all day. Not too deep either. Right, where is she? Ready? Go on then, go. Give us a wave. All right, she's coming down. Watch how quick she goes. <laughs> Got that one? Yeah. Yeah? Now Meadow is on this one. There she is. Hey. Again! Coming down. Hey. And here's the little kids bit, look. Wait a minute, we see. Smaller slides there, and we just sit and chill out there, ideal. Got a little water fountain, little one there. And then another kid slide here with a frog. Oh, she ran off now. <laughs> Winty. Right, do you wanna come out this one with Daddy? No. Oh, look, here she is, here's the other one. What one should we go on then? I don't want that one. one. I don't want my own. This one you wanna go on your own? On what one? Now this is a big one. Do you want to come on with Daddy on a big one? Yeah. Is that the foggy? Look at me. It's water in here, mate. Does it say cheese? No, it's water in here, mate. It does what? No, water in here, mate. Cheese. But you can't go quick on that one. Go. Oh, whoa! So here we go. Look, as you come up onto the slides, you go to the first right. That's the little kid one. Down there. To the ski slope. This one is a little curly whirly one and right at the top is the biggest one. I've ever sat down there. That's the view from up here and I'll come out down there. So let's do it. Without further ado, let's go for it. And then just round the corner from the kids bit, look. Kids bit behind me, that's where we sit there. Just round the corner here, in a bit more shade, is a little football pitch on grass, which I haven't had a chance of playing because got a five-year-old, four-year-old and a two-year-old that don't like football, but this is here. Anyone likes football. There's a tennis court and also a football pitch. Decent-sized tennis court. And then a five-a-side pitch as well. And it's in a bit more of a shaded area. Well, it is now anyway. The sun's going to be coming up in a minute. But good to know. Got any boys or girls that like football running around? That's what I used to do when I was little, when I was 10, 12, 14, running around playing football and uh, tennis. So good to know. Here we go, just put an ice cream run. What flavour have you got? Strawberry and vanilla. What flavour have you got? Vanilla. Strawberry and vanilla. What flavour have you got? And vanilla. Strawberry and vanilla? Got chocolate, strawberry and vanilla and vanilla. We've done about four of these runs a day. Oh, these slides have been unreal for the girls. They absolutely love them. Look, again, coming in. Oh, oh, what is that? The meadow's turned into a daredevil. Oh, 
On the last day of the holiday, Meadow decided that she wants to learn how to swim, which she's grasped, and she turned into a daredevil going on all the slides. Luckily, we're going to Dubai in October, so she can put it to a test then, because it's the last bloody day. Yeah, now this, this has been quality, this thing, look. Slide there, slide there, and that one there. Sun's coming out as well. Get it. Oh. <laughs> All right, Meadow. Meadow. Are we ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Ah, she's beating me. Oh. Yeah, that's where we spent most of our days, just in that um, in that kids bit. Loads of sun beds, loads of shade. Perfect, and then just as you come out, there's a kids club on the right there. And then there's also, oh, it looks locked, but there's a gym, which is there. Not sure I'm allowed in it. But then, if you come inside, there's also like a little snack area where there's all sorts of ice creams and food and stuff like that. So I'll take you in there now. So that's the kids pool through that door. And here's a little snack area. Let's have a look. the main pool and then behind me is another little bar yeah this is where you can also fill up your drinks like with your cokes and seven ups and stuff that's all on tap pick up a drink there the cup there there's the ice cream there that's water all the drinks at the bar and then here is the main bit that the kids love ice creams Chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. Always full. Love it. And another thing worth noting for the big kids is there's a little games room with like a pool table and stuff, look. That's the uh, kids' pool over there, so it's about a two minute walk. It's got little arcades, pool table. You gotta pay for all these things, though. Fool's bar. And all these little crappy toy things. Tattoos, remember that? And you're little getting a tattoo back in the day. Yeah. All sorts of kids. Also inside, just near the main reception, there's a load of vending machines and a little shop. With drinks ones, crisps, all that type of thing. And a little shop with glasses. Hello. Flip-flops, hats, postcards, shoes. Hola. 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 And then here, let's have a look, see what there is. Hola. Absolutely loads. Sun creams. Gladys. So yeah, if you're stuck, need a hat or some sun creams, there's a shop just there. Here we go, look, this is our favorite pool. That's the restaurant there. And you've got the uh, main pool just behind here. But this one, it gets quite busy at night, but in the daytime, it's decent. It's the cleanest one, but... And there's a little waterfall. There's a little waterfall on the right in the daytime, most of the time. It's not on now. Um, but yeah, this is the one the girls would prefer the most. And it's a good depth as well. They can stand up at this end, but then it's a bit deeper at the other end if I want to do jumping in and stuff. So yeah, overall, decent. Come to daddy. Come on, get my finger. She's a good swimmer. Yeah! <laughs> Which one's your favourite pool out of all the pools? What one? The big one? Yeah. Why? I thought you like, I thought you like this one. This one too. What? <laughs> See you later. Now, let's look at the rooms. We were in 114 on the first floor, just above the reception. And here we go. Here's the rooms. I'm not sure if every room's the same, obviously, but we've got this one. Next door, we've got my grand and granddad. They've got the same. 
As you come on the left, loads of space for storage. Some more cupboards and stuff there. Oh, this matters to some people. Hangers and whatnot, space for shoes. And then into the room itself. Hello. Into the room itself. Two big doubles. We've pushed them together because we've got five of us. Mum and Dad and the three kids all on there together. Uh, into the bathroom. Again, really nice. I was pleasantly surprised with this room actually. I didn't know what to expect. Um, the TV has got Disney Channel on there. Obviously ideal for kids. Um, when they, we haven't even looked at anything else, um, any other channels, because it's just, yeah, stick Disney Channel on while we're getting dressed and stuff. Girls just chill on there. Mum and Dad get ready. Happy days. Um, yeah, just a bit of space here. You can see quite big rooms. Aircon over there. Aircon's pretty decent. It's not freezing cold, but I don't think you want it freezing cold. Because that's when you get ill. Um, but yeah, aircon's pretty decent. And then out here, let's have a look. A view of the main pool, which is really, really nice. I'll take you down there. A um, little bit there for the laundry or whatever. And down there is the main pool. That's where you eat over there. That's the main pool there. Um, I'm going to eat now and get something to eat in a minute. And down there, it's sort of another little bar um, where you can go and grab your stuff to eat. So if we're facing this way, that's sort of the front of the hotel. That's where you come in. And then all this is the hotel. Yeah, <laughs> pretty decent. I've been very impressed so far. But enough of the room, let's get something to eat. Here we are, feeding time. What are you eating? A cracker. And what else have you been eating? What's that? Pasta, yeah. And what have you been eating most? Here we are, dinner time in our usual spot. This is the restaurant, the outside bit. Which we come in at breakfast and dinner time when the sun is going down a bit because it's a bit cooler. Because if you come here for lunch in the heat of the day, it is a bit hot. Well, it's very hot, put it that way. So they've got these shutters down as well, which sort of traps in the air and it's like a conservatory. But really nice at night when the sun's going down. You can just see the sun over there. All the girls dressed up, say hello. Hello! Don't know what that was. Yeah, where are the others? Say hello. Hello! Hello! All the girls dressed up. And there's their granddad. Hello! Getting ready for the night and then we'll be off to the mini disco. In a minute I'll take you through and see what the uh, food options like. But look, it's the weekend now. End of last weekend in August. A couple of days ago this was absolutely heaving. But now there's no one here. I'll take you through for a little tour. So that's all the pool area there. And look at all these empty spaces here. Good thing about being indoors though, if you want to get sweaty, is that it is um, air conditioned, which obviously a bonus when you're sat in this sweaty heat. But look, I'll just take you around the corner here. So this is the main restaurant. Well, not main restaurant, the only restaurant. And then at the top here is where the main pool is and where the main building is. But this is a decent little pool down here. And that up there is our room. So yeah, let's go inside and see what they have to eat. favourite part. There we go. Well that's it. 
last day of holiday. Just come out of the Mercadona, which is just a 10 minute walk up the road actually. Good point. Um, yeah, big massive supermarket. Oh, I'm just going through the bushes now. Big massive supermarket, just, yeah, 10 minute walk uphill. There's a load of building going on as well. There you go. Had a couple of daily trips um, to there to get some water and whatnot for the room. But yeah, week's come to an end. First of all, I just want to say we absolutely loved it. Didn't know what to expect. Um, got a good price. We got it for, I think it's about 700 or 800 pound each. And there's seven of us, four adults, three kids. Didn't know what to expect because it was quite cheap for this time of year, obviously with it being the school holidays. Um, and some of the reviews I saw and some of the videos I watched before we went was from before it had a refurb. So I didn't really know what to expect, but Having been here, as soon as I walked in, I knew it was going to be a lovely, uh, lovely hotel. Uh, interior is really nice. Got to the rooms, and yeah, it was quality. So yeah, first of all, I just want to say, really, really loved it. Perfect for the kids. Plenty of food options, and a water slide, and a kids bit, which obviously is all you need, really. If you've got kids, as long as they are satisfied and they are happy, as parents, you yourselves are happy. So yeah, let's move on to some pros and cons. Then I think for the, for the pros, like I just said. Food was all right, food was good, plenty of options for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, a bit later, I will add, the food times were a bit later than we've had on previous holidays. I think breakfast opens early, and then lunch opens at one, and then dinner doesn't open until seven, I think. And then the mini disco starts at half eight. Whereas in previous holidays, the mini disco's been, we've been down there for like half six, seven, so. That's just one thing to know. So yeah, plenty going on. So yeah, food, really good for adults and kids. Cannot complain there. Um, buffet, obviously, it's a buffet, so you know what you're getting. As I'm making this video, I'm just walking past the uh, hotel next to us, look. And there's an even bigger kids bit there, but it looks quite dead, so it might, might, be, um, might be a pricey one. But yeah, other, other pros. I mean, it's clean. Um, it's really well looked after. Like I say, it's been refurbed, I think. So that's another plus point. And then the pools. There's three pools. The main pool's massive. Um, it's quite busy though, the main pool. If you've got little ones, which I have, that are trying to learn how to swim and stuff like that, uh, it's probably best to stay out of that one. But then just below that one, where the fountain is, is a really nice pool, basically brand new. And then where we spent most of the time is the kids' pool, which obviously is the main plus of the hotel because, yeah, as I said earlier, if the kids are happy, you're happy. It's not too deep. There is a deep bit where the uh, big water slide goes into. But where you're sat, chilling, feet up on the sunbeds, it's not too deep, they can just sit and paddle. So there is a really shallow paddle pool, which you've seen, which has got a little slide on it and a frog that spits out water and stuff like that. So yeah, in terms of the pools, perfect for kids. Another positive is the rooms. The room was really clean, cleaned every day, looked after, really spacey as well. The beds were huge. Like I said, we slept, all five of us, three kids and two, and mum and dad, in um, the beds, we just pushed them together and it was fine. Rooms are good, bathrooms are good, aircon's fine. That's another plus point. I think the only negative, if, if I was gonna say it's a negative, is that the hotel is geared up for French, which I did get a GCSE A in my French GCSE, but obviously I'm not French. So yeah, like the kids clubs and everything is all French. The people that run it are French, all the kids in there are French. Um, I think even like the instructions and stuff are all French. So we did stick the girls in there one day, but they couldn't get along because they didn't speak French. So not the end of the world, obviously, but it was just a bit difficult for the girls to fit in with the uh, French. Because um, none of it's English and we're used to everything being English. So for once, it's not English and it's quite refreshing, actually. They don't cater to English, but there's English signs and stuff up there. It's just like stuff like the kids club is all aimed for French. I think it's a, it must be, I haven't really looked too much into it. It must be a French hotel, but they let English in there rather than the other way around. Um, but that's probably the only fault and it's, again, it's minor. So yeah, absolutely loved it. And we've had a great week. Been really hot, sun's been out. So as I get back to the hotel after my successful quest in getting winter to sleep, which she is, a theme of the holiday, here it is, here's the front of the hotel. I'll wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. Like I say, I definitely recommend for anyone um, with families and kids and stuff that want to get away. Nice weather in the summer, wasn't too expensive. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.
you for watching. Thank you for watching. Yes, thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, and there's plenty more videos on our channel if you want to go and watch those. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe using the red button.